Hello there YouTube and welcome to this video about VST plugins and how to use them in OBS 18. Now, as you may have noticed, OBS 18 supports VST plugins and this is a pretty nice thing. So this video is meant for you who don't know what VST is, VST plugins are, and how to add them in OBS 18. So right off the bat, VST is an abbreviation for Virtual Studio Technology. And basically what this means is that you can use a piece of software to enhance your audio or to alter it. And you gotta think about equalizers, compressors, uh, limiters, gates, and all this sort of stuff. And all of this you can now use in OBS 18. And if you can look at my uh, ex uh, set up for example, I use Reaper to host these VSTs um, in, but I don't need that now anymore. And I will close OBS or I will close Reaper to uh, let you hear how everything sounds without any VST plugins. So this is it. You will probably hear that there is no equalization anymore. Also, there is no gate anymore. And this might be how your microphone sounds, but now things are getting pretty easy to make that a whole lot better. So how you can add VST uh, plugins in OBS is you, you look right here at your, um, uh, at your audio tracks and you select the right one, click here, go to properties, and this is what you will see. So you will hit the plus, click on VST plugins, you give it a nice name. I will uh, name it Regate. And this is what you will see. Here should, uh, this list here should show you all the lists. I mean, it should show, show you all the VSD you got on your computer. And I, for example, well, I got quite a list, but uh, let's say I want to add a gate. You select the gate and open the plugin. So this is what it might look like. Uh, something like this, if you have the, the Reaper plugins. Um, and I will, I will add the gate because I do notice that I have quite a lot of noise. Um, uh, something like this. Anyway, I, I should, maybe I should just uh, get rid of it before, um, before things are getting uh, out of hand. I mean, gates can be pretty tricky and I will explain that how you can use those in another video. Um, so that is how you can add them. But you might wonder, where do I get VST from? And you know, how, how to get them in general. Uh, if I can give you one piece of advice right here, the, the standard replux are pretty nice. It's a, it's a nice little package of, um, of, equal, uh, of an equalizer, a compressor, a gate. And those, those three are probably the three you will need uh, the most when you're starting out. So you can go to reaper.fm slash replux, uh, click the installer or the download right here. It will download an installer and that will install the, the VST on your computer and it should show in OBS right away. I'm not entirely sure if OBS picks the right folder and if Reaper picks the right folder. Uh, if that is not the case, I, I can't really help you there as it worked for me right away, but mine, uh, my plugins were located in C program files VST plugins. So I suppose if you have a folder along those lines, OBS, uh, OBS should pick it out right away. And once again, it's, it's really nice that they added this because a lot of VST plugins are free. And it's also fairly easy to, to get some on the internet. Say you don't really like the Replux um, package or the suite, you can just Google VST compressor. And one of the first hits that is coming up um, is this one. It uh, gives you a nice list of uh, a good amount of compressors that are, are all freeware and also sound you know they they sound a little bit different all of them and they might uh, be different to use but in the end they should uh, yield the same effect anyway that's about it on um, how to use vst plugins in obs and i hope i made things uh, more clear if you still have any questions left you, you can leave them down in the comments i'll answer them answer them there and thank you guys for watching i will see you for the next one